Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we are going to have just a little chat about the changes made to the Orcs. Orc boys are looking a little bit more resilient, a little bit tougher, if you will. As they say, Orcs are some of the toughest creatures in the galaxy. Now we've got the stats to prove it. This is actually an interesting change, and I'll say straight away, I like this change from, especially from like a thematic standpoint. So there we have some uh, some lads on Piggly Squigglies, our favourite squig-based beast. It's going to become the, the 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 used name all across. I'm not going to be happy until they are called Piggly Squigglies in official material. That's what we're aiming for. It's never going to happen, but it'd be great if it did. So Orc boys have gained one extra toughness, and that honestly to me. I really, really like that. I've seen a few people kind of not too happy because of the changes it makes in terms of things like las guns being now as effective as bolters, stuff like that. But for me, one of the things that is most often repeated about the orcs when it comes to codexes, lore, background, all of that stuff, is that orcs are... They're tough. They are incredibly tough creatures. Short of blasting the head apart so that there's no brain left to control the body, they are supposed to be really alarmingly resilient to damage. Now, the thing is, if they'd have gone up like an extra wound or maybe had an improved armor save on top of the uh, on top of the toughness increase, then that might have perhaps been a bit much. But in terms of how the orcs are supposed to be, in terms of how resilient they are to pretty much any weapon, as long as you uh, as long as you shoot them in the head, they should be able to borderline shrug it off. This is a decent change. Now it wouldn't surprise me if there was a like a small point increase. I mean, to be honest, the idea of like a block of thirty boys with toughness five charging at you is a little bit terrifying. But I kind of feel like it should be. They're the orcs. They are. They're orcs. They're supposed to be really difficult to to kill because well they are supposed to be really really tough now i wouldn't be surprised if there was a small points increase tacked onto uh, onto orc boys due to that extra point of toughness and it does make the prospect of facing down a big old horde of orc boys that little bit scarier but again i just like it from that from that kind of fluffy standpoint of borderline unstoppable screaming hooligans i just I like that aspect of the orcs, and that increase in toughness does reflect it better. Now, it's not just orc boys that we've got some information on. We also have uh, some a stat line for, for the beast snagger boys as well, which is nice. So, they've got movement 5, weapon skill 3, blister skill 5, strength 5, toughness 5, 1 wound again, 2 attacks, leadership 6, and a 6 plus save. So, your standard boy, your standard boy is, is strength 4. But your uh, your beast snaggers strength five, so they hit quite a bit harder. Again, it works because they are supposed to just be bigger, meaner boys. It it fits with what they are. It fits with what they are supposed to be. There's also uh, also been a little bit of extra stuff in terms of the weapons as well. So the beast snaggers they have a, a quite a fun ability to be honest. Each time a model with this ability makes an attack that targets a vehicle or monster, add one to that attack's hit roll. I like that quite a lot, and uh, every model in this unit has a 6 plus invulnerable save. That's fun. That's fun, and the reasoning given for that, again, I really like from like a kind of like a thematic standpoint. They're covered in scar tissue and crude bionics, and so there's a chance that you might smack into them and just hit a bunch of scar tissue instead of something vital, thus the 6 plus invulnerable save. Again, adds a little bit of extra resilience. They'll obviously be, you know, costed appropriately to, uh, to 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 represent that additional that additional bit of survivability. But I like it because again, it just sets them aside that little bit from your standard boys. I have to admit, cynical though it might sound, I wouldn't be surprised if they are they are costed a little on the cheap side for what they are when they first become available. Just just a hit, just a vague. Just a vague idea that I have. Make them nice and attractive, as opposed to buying another box of normal boys. You want to buy a box of beast snaggers, because of course they've got the extra strength. They've got the uh, the six plus invulnerable, and if they hit a vehicle or monster, you've got that that extra that extra one to the to the hit roll. 
I could see them being obviously more expensive than your standard boy, but maybe not quite as expensive as perhaps they should be. But we'll see. We'll see. That's a very cynical way to look at it, isn't it? Finally, we've got the uh, we've got the stuff for the choppers. Now, <laughs> I I do remember I remember choppers being more effective than they than they currently are uh, because I had an orc army a long time ago. And so this just makes me happy. So your chopper. Is, uh, it's obviously all melee, but strength is used at AP minus one, damage one, and abilities each time the bearer fights, it makes one additional attack with this weapon. Your big chopper is plus two to strength, AP minus one, and two damage, and your ooge chopper is plus three to strength, minus three AP, and two damage. And I like that a lot. It is rewarding the big lad for carrying a gigantic axe. Yeah, I like I like this. I like the uh, I like the change to the boys. I like the change to the choppers and the beast snaggers do look they look fun. They look like a fun unit. There's a couple of extra things in there just to make them stand out a bit more. And yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm looking forward to seeing what people will do with these. To be honest, I'm looking forward to seeing like what the adoption rate is like whether. Whether a good number of people just go straight over to grabbing as many beast snaggers as possible, whether they're like cost effective in terms of replacing entire units of boys, or whether they're gonna be more of a supplemental thing. Be interesting to see, genuinely. So yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking it a lot, and I'm getting increasingly tempted by orcs again. I think it might I think probably deep down in my core, there's always gonna be a bit of orc, you know, <laughs> slapping around, but so many other things, so many other projects at the moment. But yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think of all of that in the comments down below. What you think of the extra toughness for your standard boys, whether you like the start line for the beast snaggers or not. Changes to the choppers. I'm interested to see what you all think about this. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click it if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you would like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.